Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a tech review and setup of a tech we've been using for a while now. It's the Tarp Tent Scarp 1 2022 edition. We're going to set the tent up and we're going to tell you the things we like about the tent and the things we don't like about the tent and some of the mod modifications we've done to the tent as well. So stay tuned. So when you purchase this tent, you've got a few options. You can go for a solid interior or a mesh interior. We've gone for the um, solid interior. The pack size of this tent in the 30D sill nylon stuff sack is 18 by 5 inches. The standard order for this tent is you get one Eastern 9mm aluminium arch pole. You get six 8 inch nano sticks and obviously the 30D sill nylon tent. And the pack weight of this tent is 13.68 grams. Another optional extra for the Tab Tent Scarp one are these crossing poles. They weigh 439 grams combined. They are 9 mil Eastern aluminium and I highly recommend these, especially in high winds, because in the UK we do get a lot of wind and they add so much stability to the tent. So yeah, I'd recommend getting these. So what we'll do next, we'll um, take the tent out of the bag and we'll set it up. So the tent comes as standard with these Eastern 8 inch nano pegs. They don't come with the peg pullers. We've had to attach these ourselves. Get the yellow sleeve and your arch pole and you just put it in, insert it into the sleeve and carefully push it through to the other side. These can be quite tight, especially when it's wet. To each end of the pole, you've got this little cup, and all you do, you put either end into each cup, like so, and then when you pull down on that, that'll tighten everything up. Right, once you've inserted the arch pole into the tent, what I do is pull the back of the tent out and then just put a peg in the one corner. Then just repeat the process on the other corner. What I do like about this tent is either end of the tent, you've got these five carbon struts. You've got two on each corner. One in the middle. And you've got two on the other corner. And that gives you a nice high wall inside the tent. Gives you more room to, to move around in there. And yeah, makes it more spacious. So that's the main structure of the tent put up with all the pegs and everything standard that comes with the tent. 
obviously the main tent, the arch pole and the six eight inch Eastern Nano stakes. Another option with this tent, you can get a factory seam sealed before it's delivered to you, but I think that's an extra $30 but we've decided to do this ourselves. So we're gonna find a nice warm day in the next couple of months or the next couple of weeks and we're gonna seem to see it ourselves. But the option we did take up though is the two crossing poles and we'll show you how to put these in now. What you do, put the end of each crossing pole, insert that into each brass eyelet on each corner. And then on each corner, you'll find these Velcro attachments. Simply wrap that around and that holds the pole in place. Once both crossing poles are Velcroed up, you just simply snap these clips onto the pole and there's two on each corner. simply clip them on and then give that a tug and that'll tighten everything up. We've used this tent a few times now with the crossing poles and I'll tell you now these they will drive you absolutely insane. Slightest bit of wind and it's just tapping on the tent for all night and it'll, it'll keep you awake. So we've got a top tip for this and I'll show you now. So what we recommend doing is just wrapping it around the pole a few times so it's clear of the outer fly just wrap it on a few times and just clip it in place and that'll stop it flapping around in the night as you can see the crossover poles we're rubbing the outer arch sleeve and it's worn a bit of a hole in the fabric and a month later Tab Tent sent me this crossover support it's just a um, Dyneema cord and a, and a toggle and they've also sent out some silicone adhesive and a small square of fabric they weren't very generous with the size of the patch they could have given me a bit more material. It looks like I'm going to have to patch that up. A bit disappointing, but it's a known fault with these tents and a lot of people have complained about it. It's not um, perfect, but at least they have tried to um, rectify the fault. But what you want to do is put the crossover poles in such a position where they're not touching the, the arch pole sleeve and I'll show you how to do that now. Yeah, so what you have to do is to make sure the crossover pole is clear of the ridge pole at the top is just simply pull these up on each corner and that'll lift the crossover poles away from the, the ridge and then it won't rub the fabric. This tent doesn't come with any side guy outs, which I think is shocking really for the price of the tent. You know, it should come a standard in my opinion. But what I've done, I bought some 2.5mm Dyneema cord and made my own. Got a couple of plastic tensioners and I've um, threaded it through the eyelets there and just made my own basically what we've also done is with the same Dyneema cord 
just hooked it around the loop in a bow hitch both ends and then what I like to do is wrap this round a trekking pole peg it into the ground and that stops the outer touching the inner tent as I put on four extra die outs I've had to buy four extra pegs so I've just bought four eastern 8 inch nano pegs they're just black in colour same pegs, different colour and they weigh in at 15 grams each so that's like another 60 grams on top of the overall weight so that's the tent all set up with all the extra modifications as you can see and uh, I've got to tell you now when this tent is in this configuration it's pretty bomb proof We've used it in high winds and the tent haven't even moved. It's been absolutely brilliant. A couple of things I want to show you is the ventilation on the, the fly. Each end of the tent, on the bottom you've got a zip. You just pull the zip up and then you hook the cord over the top of the guy and that'll give you a bit of ventilation through the bottom of the tent. And it's the same both ends. On both sides of the tent, where the doors are, you've got a double zip and I'll pull down and you've got ventilation both sides there. You can increase or decrease the ventilation as you wish. The tent has two doors, one either side. So let's take a look inside. Firstly, roll up the first one. And the good thing about this is you've got a bungee and a toggle on the outside. And there's another thing we don't like. When you roll up the inner fly, All they put on there is two lengths of um, bungee cord and you just got to tie that up in a bit of a knot. is isn't ideal really for a tent of this price. you think they would have done this on both, which is a bit disappointing. There's a door this side and you do it exactly the same. Right, let's take a look inside. As you can see, there's absolutely acres of space in here. And for a one-man tent, you've got loads of room in there. Absolutely loads. And as I was saying earlier, this is what I love about this tent. Either end, you've got the five struts, and then it gives you quite a high wall there, so yeah, I like that. Yeah, at the one end of the tent, you've got these pockets in each corner. Not ideal, really. That one there is okay, and it's the same the other side. You can put your phone in there and some of your electronic devices. But this one isn't too, too great. You could put stuff in there, it could easily fall out. Same as that side. What we do like about this tent, you've got two vestibules and you can actually sleep two people in this tent, which I'll go over in a minute, because we have, we've actually done it on a previous video. But um, if you were just using this tent for one person, you can actually pull the inner tent over to about 21 inches from the pole to the edge of the inner tent and I'll give it a bigger vestibule for cooking or maybe putting a backpack in the side and you can also do this on the other side give more storage but we've actually used this in a two-man tent so what you can do 
Let's pull that back and the same the other side. So we're going to measure the height of this tent and from the floor to the ceiling is about 37 inches. Yeah. So as regards to the height of the tent in the centre, if you are taller than 5'10", um, sat on a sleeping pad, your head would probably be touching the top of the tent. So before you're thinking about buying one of these tents, I'd check the dimensions and see if it's suitable for your height. Yeah, so this tent has been sold as a four season tent. There's one thing that I would have liked to have um, seen, seen on the inner would be like a cover, a covers a mesh out of, the, out of this material, which, which was zippable both sides. Um, so then you could either zip it up to have more warmth in the tent or unzip it to have more ventilation. It's still a great tent all the same. So you've got these extra clips, one each side of the tent. And they are for an optional gear loft, which is another accessory tab tent supply. If you so wish to buy one. Right, so I just put my sleeping pad in here and the length of the sleeping pad is six foot long. Okay, so you've got a sleeping pad there. Bear in mind, you'd be using this probably for a one-man tent and you've got about 11 inches to spare on the end. We've actually used this tent on our last video as a two-man tent and the width of the sleeping pad is about 500 mil and you can easily fit another sleeping pad of this size to go side by side and what we did because it's configured for a two person you've got to pull the bottom out both sides and then we had to bring our backpacks and stack them up down the end because uh, cause it wouldn't fit in the side in a vestibule because when it's pulled out the vestibules go pretty narrow but obviously as a one person you can pull the bottom in which will give you a lot more room yeah so overall we do like this tent a lot obviously it's got some niggles and things we don't like about it which we've gone through on the video I don't want to get into a, a Hilliberg versus tarp tent debate but personally the quality of this tent compared to a Hilliberg maybe lacks a little bit I think the Hilleberg, I hate to say it, but it's probably uh, a bit better quality than this. The standard tent setup in the stuff sack is one kilo, 368 grams. And everything we've added extra with the crossover poles, the extra guys, and the four extra eastern pegs, it comes in at one kilo 957 so it's still under two kilos for a one-man tent so yeah we think it's uh a good weight and uh we really like it ah one thing i have mentioned that's condensation and um when mark has slept in his tent on his own he hasn't had any condensation whatsoever so far but we have on the last camping video we've done recently we both um, slept in his tent used as a two man and we woke up to a bit of condensation it wasn't major but we had a bit maybe it's just the reason there's two of us in a tent probably that's probably that's why but um yeah it's been pretty good so far so we'll keep you posted in future videos we're going to pack this tent down now and we're going to show you one more little niggle we're not happy with and you've got to be very careful when we take this tent down i'm going to show you now one thing to be aware of is when you take the tent down and you're sliding this ridge pole through the sleeve, this can get quite tight, especially when it's wet. So just take the cup off the end and be very careful poking it through. This has happened to us a couple of times now. This plastic insert on the end comes off and it gets stuck inside the sleeve. And it's done it a couple of times now, so 
when you're taking your tent don't just bear that in mind just be extra careful because it can and will come off and it could damage the sleeve as well so just bear that in mind this has actually happened again there it is there you can see it's come off caught in the end and it's done the same thing as it did last time this sleeve in our opinion should be made about 10 mil bigger than what it is Have a look. And there it is. The insert has actually come out at the end again. So that's got to go. Somehow back in there. That's it there. Right. And that's the thing we, we don't like about this tent. Thanks for watching the video. Have our little review and thoughts on the tarp tent. Scarp one. Hope you found it useful and informative. Uh, until the next video, Diolch and Willio. Thanks for watching.